Sup guys, welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be doing another uh, view request. I'm going to get back to our companion AI tutorial. Um, the viewer wanted me to basically, instead of just destroying the actor when they die, so when basically our AI kills an enemy, the, the, the enemy just pops out of the level, disappears and spawns another one. So we wanted me to activate Ragdoll, but the problem is it, it doesn't know how to activate the Ragdoll and make uh, basically the companion AI um, uh, like forget the, the the enemy like make it is dead because on our code we we need to destroy the actor for it to disappear from the the possible targets so when we activate ragdoll there there are going to still be possible targets for our AI so they're going to keep shooting at the person in ragdoll so I'm, I'm going to be going at fixing that in this video so I just I have the wall over here I deleted that and I also deleted uh, something on the nav like a nav link that was here that was from the previous video so I just have an empty area and I just drag two enemy AIs into level and everything will behave the same thing but right now when our AI our companion AI kills an enemy uh, we're gonna make it so it just doesn't disappear like he's going to I'm going to show you so it just disappears from over here and pops another one I'm going to make it ragdoll and then simulate you know death so we're gonna need a couple of stuff so we can do that first of all we need to uh, make this the enemies actually ragdoll so like they're dead so we're gonna need to uh, change some things in the collision of the mesh so just go over here into your enemy AI you can double click that open from your blueprints click on your mesh and we're gonna need to change something over here First of all, I'm going to need to change something on the collision presets. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go and change it, this into custom. And I'm going to change the collision enable because right now is no physics collision. Click the drop down and make initially enable query and physics so we can actually activate the physics on the character. You can go ahead and compile this and so we you can see that this works. Let's just go over here and there's the physics, simulate physics on our mesh, plug that to true. And let's see what happens. So when you play, our characters are just going to fall on the ground and activate the ragdoll like they're dead. So it doesn't really look that good because they weren't really moving. But yeah, you can see that. Uh, there you go. So they're just ragdolling as they spawn. So we don't really want that. So that was just to show you that it worked. We can go ahead and disable the simulate physics. And we're going to make that manually over here in the code. So just find the portion of the code that uh, says they have any damage. So uh, if you remember well, that's just going to subtract the damage from the health of the enemy. And then we're going to check if that's below zero. If the health is below zero, we're going to spawn another AI and destroy the actor. But now instead of destroying the actor, we're just going to go ahead, uh, drag our mesh, and set simulate physics. And just click on simulate, check that to true. And now we can actually see that happening. Let's compile and take a look. Uh, let me just let my AI handle this. Uh, so one of those guys are going to die. So let me, let's just see them dying. Now he's going to activate a ragdoll. He's going to fall and another one spawns. And now they're starting to spawn. Never mind about that. That's because we didn't uh, update the target. So first of all, we're going to do something that we're going to need. We're going to need to create a new variable on our enemy AI. That's going to be a boolean. It's just going to be called is dead. So we're going to use this variable to know if we are still shooting because even if they are ragdolling they are going to be keeping shooting they are going to keep shooting and they are going to keep being a target for our you know our companion AI is going to see them as an enemy even though they are already supposedly dead so we are going to go ahead after we simulate physics let's just set is dead to true and make sure that the default for this variable is false just set it to true over in the graph now you are going to need a couple of checks so let's go over here. on the fire target we are just going to go and drag is dead drag from it to a branch and we're only going to um, enable this to fire the uh, to fire at their target if is that is false so then we're going to do the rest of the logic and we're actually going to only receive more damage if we are also alive so let's go drag a branch get is dead and we're only going to receive more damage if we are alive so if this is false we're going to do this and save and I don't believe we need to do anything else over here uh, yeah I don't think so we can probably stop doing all these but it doesn't really matter so this is everything that we need to make sure that our character uh, behaves like he's dead 
So he's not going to shoot and he's not going to receive any more damage. But now we need to go over to our companion AI. So you can also find that in the blueprints folder. Double click our companion AI. Now we're going to need to make sure that the enemies that have that variable set to true. They no longer count for our companion AI as a target. And now we're going to do that. So we're probably going to have our event tick. Let's find that. Uh, let me see. Actually, then there's a while ago, so I don't really... Okay, so there is a fire at target. This is checking if we have a target. Check for space. Okay, that's cool. Uh, I don't really remember. Okay, I remember now. Okay, we need to make these changes on the third person character because remember, uh, if you remember when we did the code, or oh, not the third person, where the hell is it? Okay, let me just find what I'm trying to look for and then I'll explain. Okay, so I'm probably blind. The event tick was there all along and I didn't see it. So what I was trying to find was uh, on the companion AI, the event tick, where we actually set our targets. So as you can see, we're going to have uh, a sequence that is going to be checking for targets. Then we're going to be getting from our third person, uh, if the third person has any targets. And if the target on our third person is true, we are going to do all of this. So I do think that I'm going to need to go into the third person character. Okay, let me just see here. Okay, I think we actually... Hmm. So this is going to be interesting. So what I'm doing over here is that I'm basically... Uh, on the enemy AI, if you go over there, we actually set the target for, our, uh, for ourselves and for our companion AI for who shoots the player. If there is someone shooting at the player, we're going to make that person a target for our AI. And we're basically going to have to set this to false. Hmm. Okay, you know what? I think I was being dumb. We, I actually don't think we need to do anything else. So let's just take a look. Our AI is going to move over here. The enemies are going to start firing at us. It's going to be going to... Okay, so we start ragdolling. Now you can see. Okay, okay, so our AI it is updating the person. That's interesting. Our AI is kind of bugged. Okay, there you go. Um, you can see that as a new AI spawn and another one dies, our AI keeps switching the target to the newly person that shoots at this. So I think that's what we wanted. Uh, yeah, I think it is. Our AI bugs for a little bit. There you go. I think our eye is kind of getting a little bit bugged because of the collision. I'm going to tell you something right now. That's because let's go into our enemy AI and we're going to need to do, I'm going to need to show you something. So when we actually simulate physics on the mesh, the capsule component is going to still be like this. So the character is going to fall to the ground and the capsule is going to still be like this. And we don't want that because it's going to be standing in the way of, for example, our AI shooting. So uh, the capsule company is going to be blocking the shots and is going to kind of uh, start uh, confusing our AI. So we're actually going to need to make this capsule component also simulate physics. So let's try and do that. Let's, dr let's drag and drop our capsule component, duplicate the set simulate physics, and just basically do the same thing. Capsule component, let's check our collision to make sure it works. So it's squaring in physics, so it's ready for it. Let's compile. Now if you play, Let's try and see if our AI uh, keeps bugging out on the collision. So 
So you can see that that guy fell and you can actually see that I can actually walk towards them because the collision is no longer there. So now you can see that our AI is no longer really getting bugged. And you can see that it's turning to the new targets as expected. So yeah, that's everything that I wanted to do. Sorry about that little time waste on the middle because I was confusing why the AI wasn't updating correctly. But now you can see that the AI does go into Ragdoll and it does update their targets once the Ragdoll goes down. So the trick over here is basically creating this is dead variable and placing a lot of checks around. So not enabling the, um, our own AI to, uh, to fire making this, this branch over here actually makes everything work correctly. And yeah, also setting the capsule component to also ragdoll is going to make um, that th basically there's not an invisible collision there blocking the vision of our AI. So yeah, I think that's everything that the viewer wanted to see. Uh, if any of you and have any doubts or the person that I did this to didn't understand anything, uh, Basically everyone, leave, leave something in the comments. I'm really loving that a lot of people are leaving suggestions. I have a list with everything and I'm gonna be trying to keep up, but they're starting to be a lot. So yeah, I'm gonna be keeping posting those out. Thank you guys so much for every suggestion and for liking the videos and watching. And as always, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.